I got a voice note from someone, and someone told me about an interesting, um, an interesting uh, idea that he had, Obs an interesting observation that he had. He said that we know that the idea of a Yom Hilula, a yard site, is something which is uh, done universally, celebrated universally and observed by all Chassidim and all Christ and all communities. But there's something which is very unique about Gimel Tamos, which you don't find in other communities. And that is, in other communities, the focus when it comes to yard site is today is such a holy, special day. It's a day that if we go to the Tzion, we go to the, we go to the, the Beis HaChaim, if we make a Suda, it's a day when we can get Brachas and Yeshuas and Hamshachas and Nisim. And it's such an amazing day and we can benefit so much if we take proper advantage of this day. And this person said that in Chabad, it's, Gimel Tamos is very different. So no one talks about brachas and Yeshua and Nisim and Gimel Tamos. I don't know if you've been to a Gimel Tamos for and you're going to one, but I guarantee you, if you go to one tonight, you're not going to be hearing about brachas, Yeshua and Nisim, even though it's all true. But by Chesidim, the Rebbe never was about Brachas, Nisim, and Yeshuas. Although the Rebbe definitely was Pale Yeshuas, Bekar of others, that wasn't, that's not the Rebbe. What do we do on Gimel Tamos? We try to remember the Rebbe. What, try to think about what the Rebbe stands for. What does the Rebbe want from me? How do I recommit myself to the, to the Rebbe Shlichus? Am I, make, am I giving the Rebbe Nachas? Am I making the Rebbe proud? And this is a reflection I mean, this is, this is a reflection of what the Rebbe taught us. The Ananasiv Malka. Now, just like in our relationship with the Ibishter, the same thing is also in a relationship between a Chassid and his or her Rebbe, you have the same idea applies, which is Ananasiv Malka. My relationship with the Rebbe is not in what the Rebbe can give me. My relationship with the Rebbe is in what I can give the Rebbe. What does the Rebbe want of me? I and mean, obviously what the Rebbe wants of me is not for his own personal benefit, for his personal gain, because the Rebbe himself was devoted to Klal Yisrael, and therefore, on this day, Gimel Tamos is definitely a day to remember what our priorities are. The idea that, as we learned in Tanya today, that Ayyid has the opportunity to be Becher. Klippa or Kedusha. And you know what? Klippa might be the more beneficial boot. And nevertheless, on non Nasiv Malcolm, we, anyways, we choose the Abishter, and we choose to do what the Abishter wants, and we choose to follow in that way until we bring Mashiach. And we'll see the Rebbe once again, Lamata Masarat Fachim, and then at that time also, we'll have, we said earlier, Im Laevi Ritzay Nikach, Laesi Ritzay Nalachas Kamavakama, at that time, the Ashba on the side of Kedusha will be so much greater.